if I can ask the question about which screenshot program do I use the mo uh, use the most, and it's a shampoo Snap Nine. Um, I've always used some version of Snap, usually seven, but I've just uh, upgraded to nine. And uh, this is a an absolutely uh, fantastic program. I use it for all sorts things. Things that I buy, so I have proof that I've paid for things. I know you get emails and what have you, but uh, I like to uh, back up and just for everything really. So basically, if I wanted to um, take a screenshot of this here, uh, this I'll just cancel this here. Um, it has all sorts of things here at the top. It's got edit, configure, how you like it, um, capture menu, capture fixed uh, fixed region. Capture freestyle region, which is quite a quite a clever thing, which does anything you want really. And there you see. So when you when you actually have taken the screenshot program, you'll see this here. This is the interface. Um, on the left hand side is what really you would do for for the editing of the picture. Um, I'll do. A bigger picture with just the freestyle program so on here it's uh, where it says region uh, this one's capture free rectangle region and this is the this is the one I probably use the most to capture screenshots um, I find this the the easiest and uh, that's that's the one I probably use the most so for example for want to capture a, a region on the screen anything really but in this case we're doing this. So again, this is your interface. So down on the left hand side, you can pixelate or crop that. Um, you can erase parts of that. You can use the blur pen, which would, if you don't want some, if you're, for example, emailing somebody else, if you're uh, working with them, or do you want somebody to understand something, you just go like that. And you, for things that you don't want people to see, you can use the blur pen up at the top here on the left hand side you can undo all so all them um, things that you've uh, just done there you just undo like that um, here again the mark pen or the marker pen really just uh, see there where it says randomized and it just goes like that so you maybe want to highlight that for somebody again just undo if you don't want that um, here highlight area if you want something highlighted um, there's flood fill so it's basically it's quite a graphic package uh, you know something that you'd see on a photo editor this is like a screenshot editor um, you have the flood fill you have uh, rectangle regions ellipses there's so much on this program that you cannot really go into it all you'll be here all day and I don't know everything actually I've used it for years or, or a version and I still don't know everything about it. Here on um, your heart, you have the arrows. Now this is important because if you just on that, you want to explain something, and you just have have an arrow. That's the wrong way around. But you just it's very easy to change, and you just go. For example, you want to somebody to look at whole saturation, or you just want it yourself. Um, there's, uh, there's, that's the way to do it. Very simple to do. You can uh, also put some text into that. So you would, could say, well, and it says there, just start typing, and that's all you do. Uh, so you could say, I need this color. I need this color. Okay, so you just, you just click OK on that. And that's all you do. And there's uh, so much to this. Uh, what else? Uh, there's things called stamp, and this has all sorts of uh, things like social media arrows. Um, as you can see, there, there's lots and lots of difficult, uh, different things there. Cars. Uh, there's also emoticons as well. You've got your uh, cameras. You fill them. Um, and there's a million and one things there. Here's your smiley faces, also social media, things like YouTube, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Skype, LinkedIn, and then you've got a load of flags 
for some reason never really been sure what that's all about but um that's yeah that's that's all your flags um so if you wanted to put a flag uh, mine would be england so you just you know you just put that in and there you go so it's like a vector thing and it's and it's very good uh other things uh well so we've got, we've got a spotlight so maybe if you want to do a spotlight on a particular area like so just want to put in there and we just click yes for that and there we go so we're just highlighting that area um underneath i made a little bit of a mistake here i should have actually taken the video right down to the bottom here because there's actually a few uh things of how to control how uh, big something is for example if you're writing something like i've done there i need this color which is like an object so you can move it about you can actually see uh little bits there but i should have gone right down at the bottom to so you can actually change color uh, with the writing, you can change weight, uh, colors, and all sorts of things. So it's a, it's a really great thing. On the right hand side of this, you have uh, you can have an open and capture from disk. Uh, keep a capture open. You can send capture to another app. Um, you can print next one, and you can do all sorts. You can send it to fo um, Photoshop. Uh, you can save in another location because it's got a designated location by default you can upload to Facebook Twitter if you if you want to that's easy enough and also them a shampoo has their own web space and a few other things this if you do if you just want to delete that or if you take it that'll go to the designated folder that a shampoo has already done here at the top is undo all undo redo and uh, zoom in zoom out and all the rest of that thing um you also you've got uh, things like uh, apply drop shadow apply border fades copyright so watermarks apply mouse date and time if you want to put a date and time on there you can just pop one on there it's the 15th of december and there it goes there you can just you can put that where you want as well so um well, this is the uh, apply during time, apply effects, and you can apply anything you want. Quite like this invert business. Uh, there's quite a million things as well on that. Um, so there, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, you can resize capture of canvas as well, so you can change that. Uh, you can change the position of that as well, and change your background, and a million and other things as well. And so for, ex for anything you want to capture on your screen you can get that that's really your first part of this video the second part uh this is yes you see it changes no discard any changes which is what i want the the other part of this video is probably one of the most important for me personally although i use uh that one where i just take screenshots of of anything that it's probably one of my most used programs um, I've ever had. So anyway, um, another thing that's really good about this is Capture Scroll and Window, uh, Freestyle and Firefox. Uh, another one is Capture, I don't know if you can see them at the top, I'll just put that, uh, Capture in Explorer. So when, when you have your, your screen, if you want to take a screenshot on some screenshots, programs you get, you want to like sort of see the whole website and, and you can't because it only, it only does what the desktop is saying but they on here it takes the whole scrolling uh capture a single window which is basically what it says uh one of the things is interesting this is a quite interesting capture desktop what you see i'll just take the zoom off there uh, uh stacked i've got that so for example i'll take a screenshot and there's well, it's actually it it does work it's it's something i haven't uh <laughs> i haven't really like sort of get me head around totally this stack business but anyway um but the more it's just about playing around as i say i don't know everything about this even though i've had it for a long time in one form or another 
because uh, you really use a program for what you need. Uh, anyway, the one of the main aspects of this is video. Uh, this is uh, this is what I use a lot. Obviously, I, I do YouTube and then all my YouTube videos, apart from photography ones, if the uh, if I'm trying to demonstrate a technique or something like that. But all my uh, coding videos are all done with uh, Snap. So what here it's got a rectangle region you can actually configure this any way you want um but anyway you can have uh, so what you do is you just start and you for example you you just you can take a whole part of the desktop or you can take uh, just parts of it and this i'll take probably about three quarters of it okay so what that has on it hasn't started yet you can hide video controls, which I always do. Um, this is the start capture, and it has other things like show webcam, so you can have your face in there as well at the bottom of the screen. You can have effects, um, which is not really something I use. You can use markers, draw arrows, and show texts as well. Um, so, but the main thing I use these this program or the video uh, for it is just basically to to uh, do coding and uh, so you start capture with that you hide your video controls um, and if you're trying to do for example the demonstration say we're doing a demonstration on this program here I just you can actually move the video part around um, I wouldn't recommend that really for for what I do but anyway this is uh, something like called a color palette which is uh, by it's a, the program's called Color Cache 5, which is for graphic designers and web designers, and it's a really cool program. This is something I use, just messing on with that. If I was doing a, a for example, a tutorial on this, uh, I would you know explain it with a video. Other things here is um, this is the code editor, or one of them, and just along here and for example if I was, if I was just demonstrating some code uh, for example I will just uh, I don't know put h1 tags h h1 tags and and do this and and just play around uh, uh, that's probably a bad example but anyway a p tag uh, in, and you're just doing that and you're saying there uh, font size and that would be 18 pips and things like that so it's very very simple to do uh, obviously the zoom function is very important as well when it comes to coding so anyway that's a, a pretty much a, a rounded off thing it's very good for certainly for what I do um, uh, again with the shampoo products you always just download them try them out for a screen capture program with video but this this is probably the cheapest and the best uh, best for what it does that I've come across um, another um, good thing as well about it I'll just switch that off oh come on man switch off um, here is they've actually done I don't know if you can see that but on this version, they've actually got uh, a GIF animator, or GIF animator, however you want to pronounce that. So, uh, if you play around with GIFs, you probably know that you cannot really do a long video with GIF animation. It would be too, um, it would be just too much uh, megabytes, etc. Uh, but you just, if they want, want a small uh, little video played, a GIF animation is a a pretty nice way to do it. I still like gifts myself. Um, but yeah, so this this program is pretty extensive. I, I don't uh, I don't confess to know all the uh, ins and outs of it even yet, but I do know how to use it for, for my needs. So um, if anybody's interested in, in something like that, you could do worse than uh, having a shampoo snap name. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.